All right, let's go to the New Testament. This is what I've been wanting to do. Go to Matthew chapter 1. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Let's go Matthew chapter 1 and verse 17. I'm going to skip all the genealogy. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. Now remember, Christ is of the line of David through the father, Joseph. Verse 18, now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily, you know, privately. Thinking, oh, you know, Mary was a nice girl, but uh, she been messing around on me. Or at least that's probably what he thought. Verse 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream. Ah, here's that dream stuff again. Oh, that's right. This series is on dreams and visions. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yeshua HaMashiach. I don't think so. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Yeah, don't listen to those Noahides and Hebrew root people. They don't know what they're talking about. Who was it that tried to kill Jesus? Who was it that was killing the apostles? Who was it that was killing the early Christians? Wasn't the Romans. Take a guess who it was. Yeah. People like Caiaphas and Ananias. People like Judas Iscariot. Yeah. Wasn't the Romans. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. Uh, you know the modern Bibles get rid of that? They don't say virgin. Nope, they just say young woman. Well, there was a, a, a little girl gave birth at six years old, which means she probably got pregnant when she was five. Yeah. Yeah, she, uh, matter of fact, last I checked, she was still alive. I think it was in the 1930s. She might be dead by now, but I, I checked like a year ago. She was still alive. Youngest person to ever give birth. Some uh, Hispanic down in South America. Uh, was that a miracle? No. No. I. She had help from somebody. Uh, somebody did that to my five-year-old daughter, Uh She'd be a widow. What can I tell you? But, uh, yeah. But the modern Bibles, they say young, young girl or young woman. They don't say virgin. You know, they want to make Jesus a birth just like any other. That's how one of the things you could do. I think it's uh, Isaiah 7 and verse 14. 
If you got a Bible that says in Isaiah 7 14 that says virgin, behold a virgin, you got a real Bible. If it just says young woman, well, think about that six year old that gave birth in South America. I mean, that's not a miracle, people. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Now, the thing is, Emmanuel is mentioned in the Old Testament, and it's in the New Testament. Why don't the Hebrew Roots people call him Emmanuel? No, they want to call him Yeshua, which doesn't appear in the New Testament. As a matter of fact, Yeshua was the servant, uh, servant of Moses. We call him Joshua. See, they always mispronounce those words so that you don't make the connection. They mispronounce them and they misspell them. I believe nothing they tell me. Nothing. They tell me the sky is clear and blue outside. I'm going to take a look out the window. I don't trust any of them. Why don't they use Emmanuel? Why not? It's in the Old and the New Testament. Instead, they use Yeshua, which doesn't appear in the New Testament at all. And they got all these little arguments. Well, you know, he was a Hebrew, and that would have been his Hebrew name. Where's that in the Bible? It's not. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Read 1 Timothy 3.16. It says, God was manifest in the flesh. Verse 24. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took unto him his wife, and he knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Who named Jesus Jesus? An angel of the Lord, who was sent from the Lord, by the Lord. Think about that. You see, these people using this Yeshua stuff, these Hebrew roots, basically are telling you your New Testament is wrong. It's wrong. you got to run to them, unbelieving rabbis to get your Bible knowledge. You think they're going to tell you about Jesus? No, they're going to tell you about their Messiah, who's probably going to be called Yeshua. Yeah. And he's coming when they rebuild the temple, probably. Yeah. The man of sin, the beast, the son of perdition, the Antichrist. That's their Messiah, since they don't like Jesus. So, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen.